This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Monday, July 4th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From Al Jazeera, India bans 19 single-use plastic items to combat pollution. As of last Friday, the Indian government has banned an assortment of single-use plastic items, ranging from the packaging on cigarettes, candy, and ice cream, to plastic straws and disposable cutlery. This is just one of many such bans going into effect around the world right now, and all vary in their specifics, but broadly aim to reduce the amount of cheap plastic goods, packaging, and bags that have become omnipresent in modern society and a serious waste issue globally, in part because most such plastics do not degrade and cannot be easily recycled, and thus end up in landfills, on streets, or as pollution in natural ecosystems. India has a population of 1.4 billion people, so this ban could have a serious impact on this issue if it's enforced. But it's an open question as to whether it will stick, as each state and city will have to figure out how to police the production, import, and sale of such goods individually. From The Verge, Samsung beats TSMC to production of three nanometer chips. Technology company Samsung has started production on three nanometer semiconductor chips, beating their main rival, TSMC which won't start producing their own 3 nanometer chips until late 2022, to the punch. Though it's expected, TSMC's chips will be cheaper. This is newsworthy because smaller, denser chips tend to result in more power and better energy efficiency, and Samsung has said that their 3 nanometer chips will ultimately reduce power consumption by 50% and the size of the chip by 35%, alongside a performance increase of 30%. The chip fabrication process itself is also said to be 45% more energy efficient than the 5 nanometer process, all of which portends a slew of new, more powerful and energy-sipping gadgets and appliances in the near future as Samsung and other companies begin to roll out this new microchip size. And from The Guardian, NFT sales hit 12-month low after cryptocurrency crash. Sales of non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, dropped to just over $1 billion last month, compared to $12.6 billion in January, according to research firm Chainalysis. A series of high-profile collapses of crypto world companies and other infrastructure has led to problems for big tech companies that hold some of their wealth in crypto assets, but also individual owners of such assets. NFTs are relatively new blockchain-based assets, but they too are taking a hit as this macro industry is reassessed by financial world folks and the average person. And that's led to some steep discounts on NFT items, many of which are now on the market for a small fraction of what their current owners paid less than a year ago. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.